Oh, so thank you very much for this opportunity to talk to you about EHA 20. I am the president, current president of the European Hematology Association, Professor Christine Chomier. Today I think I will just highlight two things which I think are important at this Congress. First thing, as you can see, is it's EHA 20. It's the anniversary of the 20th Congress we do each year in different we try in different countries of Europe. We think it's important that each country in Europe benefits from the Congress of the European Hematology Association. It's also the 25th anniversary. It started 25 years ago with four hematologists who wanted to give a platform to European clinical scientists, clinicians and scientists to sit together and exchange knowledge. And so I think this is what we have brought. And today at this Congress, we have changed the format we have much more basic science and therefore we hope to be able to offer once again as the initiated wishes a platform where scientists and clinicians can mix. So to put something more in concrete we have three actions which are nearly completed. We have written the story of the 25 years of the European hematology and it published now in the book called Fresh Blood, which tells not only the story, but the goals now of the European hematology, which missions are excellence in patient care, education and research. We have another document which is going to come out, which is the research roadmap for blood disorders. This highlights the needs which need to be developed and of course completed to make sure that patients will have the care which they require by strong research. And the third document, which will also come out and is being presented at the Congress, is the cost of blood disorders. We need to be able to define with the innovations which will be related from the needs of research, the cost of these innovative measures to make sure that we control them, but that also that we are able to show the funders that we benefit also from these new drugs because people will be able to be more healthy, work more, and therefore the economics of the countries will justify the cost that these governments will have to pay for the treatment.